The recession probably started this business without us even thinking about it. Because of the recession, I found myself having to ask this question of what do I want to do now and be really creative with it. Socially conscious baking company. We deliver and cater to nonprofits, both the organizations and the individuals that work there. I love to cook. My mother taught me to cook. My grandma inspired me to bake. You just follow the rules and then something delicious happens. It's both a release and also something that I can really jump into and sort of play around with and have a lot of fun with. Put me into that. Cornbread, bread pudding. The combination of being young and not being so scared to give it a shot and like if it doesn't work out, whatever, we got 60 more years to figure it out. I wasn't totally satisfied with my job and then I ended up not having my job anymore and so it didn't make sense to go and look for that same job. The jobs that we're going for are being given to people who are way older than us. So there's no manual, website, blog, anything that's like, this is how you start a business. Well, there are. They're just not that helpful. It's just been a really great learning opportunity to learn so much about ourselves. You can think you know how much you're going to spend when you go to the store, and then you see all the things that you're going to need, and that is a really big slap in the face. Somebody out there knows what they're talking about. You just have to find them and figure out how to feed them in cookies instead of money. Money. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. So I got out of college and I had an internship and I moved to a new city and it was great. I bought my car off my parents and I paid my own insurance and look at me, I'm an adult, right? Woo, 24, I'm being responsible. And then I quit my job. Then there was a recession. That big savings account went away, the 401k closed, we rolled it over into nothing. My childhood was very much the downturn of the 1980s. I wish I still had bought mitzvah money somewhere, but I don't. My stepdad's unemployed, my dad's underemployed, my mom's work is constantly tenuous. All of a sudden, I'm an adult in the same boat. We're actually excited about the impacts of this recession on our generation. It's pushing a lot of us to th rethink the ways that we have a relationship with consumer culture. I think it'll help give a push to living a more green lifestyle, shopping locally, going to the farmer's markets, using your reusable bag. On the cheap, I'm much more fulfilled. Maybe someday when I am not living on unemployment, I hope to like continue these values even past this, or to not be structuring my life around what my income is, but actually structuring my life around the people who are around me and the types of relationships I have and the actual life I lived, not just my job. I think the recession is going to be really hard. I think it's going to be really good for young folks. That's not to diminish that the recession isn't hard on a lot of people. Anybody who was like, I'm on top of the world, I'm 25, look at me, gets a reality check um, and gets to sort of figure out what it's like for everybody else. And for folks who were already sort of struggling and hustling to make it work. I think it's definitely harder on them, but there's more more of us in the struggle together. That's giving us the space to think about our lives and, and what's really important to us. I'm really thankful for my friends and my family, my network that sort of has been supporting us even though it's hard. It's hard for all of us, absolutely. Thank you.